movie review on the internet today, the A-List Review. I am your host, the Game Changer, Wes Truth. And as you can see, it's time to go back to the theater. And ladies and gentlemen, this weekend we got a couple big releases. One of them is a film uh, that many people are looking forward to, including this guy. And if you're not, you should just let it go. My review of the 2019 animated sequel, Frozen 2, coming up now. Queen Elsa of Arendelle, her sister Anna, and their friends Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven are celebrating autumn in the kingdom when Elsa begins to hear a mysterious voice calling out to her. It leads the gang to the enchanted forest, as well as the dark sea that the girl's father had told them about when they were young. Along the way, the cast of characters could discover new things about their past, face off against elementals, and find out more about the origin of Elsa's powers in hopes of saving Arendelle. So what did I think of Frozen 2? I thought it's a fantastic animated sequel. It's no secret that I love the first film, as it's become one of my favorite animated Disney features. I find it quite interesting that a lot of fans who loved the first were quite let down by this entry, and those who were left lukewarm with the original actually prefer this new entry. While I still like the film, first film more, I really did enjoy this sequel as well. First off, the animation here is spectacular, lighting up the screen with amazing colors and visuals, and there were times that it looked like real people in some of the scenes. There's some exciting action sequences throughout as the characters try to find out more about and try to avoid certain harm from some of the elementals, and we get to see Elsa use some more of her powers in new ways. The comedy works well, and of course much of that comes from Olaf. At first I thought it started off with the snowman going a little too overboard, and I was a little bit worried, but thankfully I ended up laughing a lot at his wisecracks and gags, especially his retelling of the first film. The story gives us a new journey for the characters and felt fresh, instead of just giving us a retreat of what we have already seen as the characters deal with things in their past that are not as they seemed and try to bring two groups of people together. The film also has a darker tone with a couple of sad moments tossed in and might even scare the really little ones here or there. Of course, we get more of the great sisterly bond between Elsa and Anna, and it's nice to see more of them together. Kristoff and Anna's love story is still charming, and it's interesting to see how they feel a little unsure about their relationship. We also get a number of good messages thrown in throughout. There's quite a number of brand new songs as well, with the standouts being Elsa's new song, Into the Unknown, and Kristoff's hysterical power ballad, Lost in the Woods. While most of them are fun, there were a couple of songs I probably could have done without. The terrific voice cast returned, starring Adina Menzel as Elsa, the Queen of Arendelle with magical ice powers, Kristen Bell as Anna, Elsa's younger sister, and Princess of Arendelle, who won't let uh, her sister go into the Enchanted Forest without her, Jonathan Groff as Kristoff, the ice harvester and Anna's boyfriend working up to the courage to propose, and Josh Gad as Olaf, the magical snowman who's become a part of Anna and Elsa's family. Frozen 2 is great fun seeing the gang back together and full of terrific animation, visuals, and music, making it one of Disney's best sequels. I'm going to give it the rating of A-List Approved. That's right, it gets the A-List. Seal of Approval. All right, well, that's the show. I'll be back with another review very soon. But until then, don't forget to subscribe right here on YouTube. YouTube.com slash Westside of 515. Like you on Facebook, facebook.com slash West True Playlist. And of course, you can follow me on the Twitter and the Instagram at West Playlist. Until next time, Truth out.